You know, honestly, it it honestly just felt like it was Christmas of 2012. Literally, time has flown by so fast. This video from Report of the Week has always struck a weird chord with me, and is the reason why I was compelled to make this video in the first place. Looking forward more into this clip, you can see why. You know, it's just, it's funny how fast time has passed, uh, at least for me this year. You know, and honestly, it seemed like last week when I was just sitting here in, you know, December of uh, 2012, uh, you know, doing those wing reviews, and, you know, it's, uh, honestly, thinking back, it's kind of sad, you know, to see how, how fast time flies by and how your life is just going by like that. You know, it, it, it's kind of sad to see, honestly. I don't, I don't know if it's going to get any slower. And if every year it's just... I don't know. Not getting any better, I'll tell you that. Well, anyway. That's what I have to say to you there. That's it. I never saw this side of the report of the week. And I didn't know his otherwise calm and analytical personality had this side to him. That day, I realized Report of the Week wasn't playing a persona, and that he was a real, organic human being. Which brings more interest into the topic of, who is Report of the Week? To answer that question in a literal sense, Report of the Week is primarily a food review YouTuber. He occasionally uploads videos talking about life and overall lives a minimalistic style. There's no fancy editing nor stunning equipment, and every one of his videos is shot on his phone. With all this unprofessionalism that is in his production value, I'm very attracted to Report of the Week for the same reason as audiences as well, and that is his personality. In all of his videos, he presents himself as very cool and lax. He reviews his food in an analytical and calm way, and he always comes dressed in a suit, which shows his contrasting style compared to today's flashier looks. But clips like these in his videos outline his behavior and keeps us interested. Finally making our way into the restaurant there, you can see it's even more hectic. Every seat, every table completely occupied, standing room only. Uh, you can see that everyone's there waiting for the burgers. You can see all the decor reads IHOB with a B. And everyone's there. They're all waiting for the burgers. Packed house. You can see the line still going out the door that, there. Uh, it's incredible. I was shocked I was even able to get in. Report of the Week has a very dry sense of comedy, with a sarcastic twinge in every single remarks he makes. In opposition to modern media's wacky, loud, and random sense of humor, Report of the Week brings a personality far from the modern comedian of today. He keeps his composure, and calmly tells every joke almost like he's serious. There are very little times he chuckles or laughs before delivering a punchline, and his speech is very monotone, similar to a small radio host. When I found this out, I started digging around and found that the Report of the Week contrasts today's society by a long shot. In this video here, he discusses his day-to-day -day life, and the striking things he reveals is that he's nocturnal. His closets are full of suits, and his overall personality of the video is just as the same as it is in every one. After more and more people started seeing the side of the Report of the Week, he released videos talking about the most random things pertaining to him or the channel, revealing more of his personality that everyone was curious to see. The feel that this certain series of videos produce is a sense of peace. Report of the Week builds his content in a way like he is your friend, almost like he's in the same room with you, trying to conversate with you. Compared to the obnoxiously loud food reviewers and YouTubers we see today, Report of the Week has given everyone a refresher. He has single-handedly built an audience from his personality alone, and is one of the most creative channels on this platform, providing an interesting scope of content in which we try to find out how he thinks, and how his personality will react to certain events. And Report of the Week is very aware of this, and he's constantly teasing at us. He prevents himself as this lovable mystery man, from an average viewer's point of view, you don't know his name or even how old he is. I may be overanalyzing here, but Report of the Week is an absolute genius. Through his videos, he silently criticizes modern society and the flaws it has. He's teaching us to learn to calm down, to stay composed, and to stop playing a loud and fast persona. We don't need to be crass in our language and actions. We can be civilized and professional. 
and just like Report of the Week, we need to settle down and have a nice conversation, like he tries to do with his audience in his videos. People like Report of the Week will always be needed, and will never be outlived, because once we step out of what they show us, we always need to come back.